Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about chapter 21, Genetic Inheritance. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So in this chapter, there's going to be a lot of vocabulary. So genotypes is the genes of the individual. So genes are segments of DNA that code for a particular trait or a protein. Each gene is located in a specific position, also known as locus or loci, on a chromosome. Alleles are alternative versions of the same gene. That is, if there's a trait for eye color, such as for example, you have one allele for blue eyes and one allele for brown eyes, at the end of the day, they both are alternative versions of the same gene that give rise to white color. One of them is for blue eyes and another one is for brown eyes. So alleles are classified either as dominant or recessive. Dominant alleles match the expression of the recessive values. For example, if an allele is dominant, you only need one copy of that allele in order to be expressed for that particular trait. On the other hand, if an allele is recessive, you need both of the chromosomes to actually have the recessive allele in order to be expressed. So in science, we use either uh, uppercase letters or lowercase letters in order to try to specify whether a allele is dominant or recessive. So a dominant allele is assigned an uppercase letter and a recessive allele has a lowercase letter. That is, in this particular example, albinism. So the allele for normal pigmentation is uppercase A and for normal pigmentation is lowercase A. So for each pair of chromosomes, we receive one chromosome from each parent. Therefore, we inherit one allele from each parent, resulting in a pair of alleles for each trait. So you can have different genotypes. So on homozygous dominant, you have both alleles that are dominant, so you have two uh, uppercase letters. So the chromosome of both the egg and the sperm actually carry the dominant trait. Homozygous recessive, both alleles are recessive, so you have two lowercase letters A. Heterozygous, it's one allele is dominant and one, and one allele is recessive, so you have one uppercase letter and one lowercase letter. So your phenotype is the physical appearance of a trait, or what you can actually measure and observe. So the genotype determines the phenotype. So one of my students in my class, she said, I think I know how to explain what genotype and phenotype is. So she told me genotype, it's your DNA sequence, and your phenotype, it's your looks. A one trait or monohybrid cross examines the patterns of inheritance of only a single set of alleles. A two trait cross explores the patterns of inheritance for two different characteristics. <clears throat> so for both types of crosses, it is first and absolutely necessary to determine the gametes of both of the parents in the cross. So if you guys remember from meiosis, remember the point of meiosis is to make cells with half the number of chromosomes than the parent cell. So whenever two gametes fuse together, they just give rise to a cell that just has the right number of chromosomes, in this case, 23 pairs of chromosomes. So during the meiosis, the homologous chromosomes are separated and each of the gametes only has 23 chromosomes. So half the number of chromosomes than what is necessary. And this is why whenever you know the gametes, so the egg sperm fuses, it makes a cell that has just the right number of chromosomes. So to predict the chances of having an offspring with a specific genotype and therefore a specific uh, phenotype, we use a one trait or a monohybrid cross. In this particular case, we're going to use the example of having freckles. So two parents with a freckles have a children. So the dominant allele, in this case is capital letter L, is for freckles. And the recessive value is for having a freckle, so the lowercase f. If both parents do not have freckles, then that means that the genotype is going to be lowercase f, lowercase f. So the only gametes that they can produce basically are going to contain the allele or the lowercase f. So that means that all the children with the lowercase ff, they will not have freckles. So that means that the chances of these individuals to have a child with uh, freckles is basically zero. 
All right, so now let's look at another example. So this particular case, a homozygous dominant man with freckles, which means that he has uppercase F, uppercase F, has children with a woman with no freckles, that means lowercase F, lowercase F. The children that they produce are heterozygous, which means they have uppercase F and lowercase F, and that means that they're gonna have freckles. In order to determine the probabilities of a couple to have an offspring with a particular trait, we actually use a binary square. So in a binary square, we use all the possibilities of the alleles from the egg and sperms. Every possible combination of gametes occurs within the squares. In a cross between uh, two heterozygous, which means uh, both parents have uh, uppercase F, lowercase F, each parent has two possible types of gametes, either uh, uppercase F or lowercase F. And we're going to see how we can use this information in order to do a pilot square. So let's see how we can do the pilot square. So if you remember, both of the parents are heterozygous, which means they have an uppercase F and lowercase F. So what you do is that you put the alleles of the mother, in this case, on top. So uppercase F, a lowercase F, and then the alleles of the parent or the dad, in this case, uppercase F, lowercase F. So what you do is just multiply the alleles. So on the first quadrant, on the upper quadrant, you have uppercase F, uppercase F. On the second upper quadrant, you have uppercase F, lowercase F. And on the lower quadrant, on the first one, you have uppercase F, lowercase F. And on the last quadrant, you have lowercase f, lowercase f. So this particular case, we were looking for um, if, the, if the offspring had a freckles. And remember, uh, having freckles is actually dominant. So as long as you have one of the dominant alleles, you're going to have freckles. So this particular case, three out of the four offsprings are going to have freckles.